Let's take a look at the Industry Foundation Classes file format for Solid Edge. In this assembly we have a range that was created by one of our customers, Lincat Limited, from Italy. One of the reasons for using their data set is because they're required to supply their customer with the IFC files. The reason for the IFC file format is it's a neutral format that can be used in BIM processes for construction processes. A typical workflow for our Solid Edge user might be to simplify the, uh, the assembly before translating to protect the intellectual property. Then the architect using, the, using a BIM application such as Revit would place this IFC file into their, uh, into their building construction. To translate into the IFC format, we've uh, pulled down the format here from the uh, from our dialog box. Now we've got some options that we may want to set in here. <coughs> For instance, the um, we want to export our solids only uh, only what's displayed millimeters. Uh, the IFC versions we've got two of those available. Say OK to that and go ahead and save. During the uh, save process, Solid Edge provides feedback through this progress bar. With this range, we could have uh, simplified the entire project product, so it's just an outline. Uh, but the uh, vendor may require more information. Now that we've translated our data out as IFC, we could reopen it. But in this case, what I'm going to do is open a file that I just pulled off the uh, off the internet. Um, that one there. Just open that. It's an assembly. And you can see it being translated in quite quickly. And when we open it, we'll see the structure of the data. Uh, we've got a, a site and building, and we can get uh, down into the story level, which is our uh, our um, building there. Uh, with all its components. And of course, because we're in Solid Edge, we can quite easily uh, edit all this data. So the translator is, uh, is both directions and is fully compliant with, uh, with industry standards.